All right now the search continues for Eliza Fletcher who has been missing since Friday. The 34 year old is a mother to two young boys and a kindergarten teacher at St. Mary's. She's also the granddaughter to late Memphis billionaire Joseph Oregel III, the founder of Oregel Incorporated based in Collierville. Yesterday, police arrested Cleotha Abstin and charged him with her disappearance. Alakita Johnson has the latest on the investigation from 201. Good morning, Aaron. That 38 year old is behind bars now, but the judge last night set his bond to $500,000. Now he will not see that judge today because it is a holiday, but tomorrow he is expected to be in court. Go ahead and take a look at this video. This is where Memphis police searched most of yesterday. Now they wouldn't confirm this area in South Memphis was directly connected to the police to the Fletcher case, but on Saturday police did find the GMC terrain. They said Abstin was driving on Waterstone Oakway. A witness told police they saw Abstin cleaning the SUV and washing his clothes. In the police affidavit we got, it said the abduction was violent and there's evidence that Fletcher got seriously hurt. Her family, though, hoping for the best. More than anything, we want to see Liza returned home safely. We believe someone knows what happened and can help. If you have any information on this crime or Liza's location, call the police. Abstin is now charged with especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence. And as for the Fletcher family, they are uh, rewarding anyone with $50,000 if they have any information that could lead to her return. We'll also keep you guys updated with more details that we receive. For now, Memphis, I'm Lakita Johnson. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Lakita. Well, let's get to more on that police report Lakita was talking about. It says Eliza went for her regular run. Then her husband, Richard Fletcher, reported her missing when she didn't come back. A biker found Eliza's cell phone and a pair of champion slides near Zach Curlin near the university. Investigators say those slides had Abstin's DNA on them. And surveillance video showed someone forcing Fletcher into the passenger side of an SUV after a brief struggle. That car then sat in a parking lot for four minutes before it drove off. So who is Cleotha Abstin? Well, unfortunately, he's not new to this. He actually got out of jail recently for the very same crime. Abson was convicted of aggravated kidnapping and robbery back in 2000 after pleading guilty to abducting a Memphis attorney. A judge then sentenced him to 24 years, but he got out with time served in November of 2020. Now, less than two years later, he is facing similar charges in the Eliza Fletcher case. Again, Fletcher still hasn't been found. I do know this case may have some of you at home concerned, even rightfully scared. I often go running, but there are things that we especially as women can do to keep ourselves safe. Safety experts say go ahead and ditch the headphones. I know it sounds hard to run without any music, but it's so you can hear other people coming near you. Also, they say avoid baggy clothes and this one, no ponytails because it makes it easier for someone to grab onto you. Also, switch up your routine. Make sure that you're not running or walking the same route every day.